Hey guys, it's Jason. And here recently I've been getting a lot of emails and there's been a lot of horror stories and a lot of confusion with brain wallets. Now beforehand, this used to be the big exciting thing. You know, brain wallets, you remember to code and then you had the ability to basically store wealth just by memorizing a short little paraphrased code. Well, there's been some problems with it. So here recently, a lot of people have been kind of confused with how a brain wallet operates. Now I'll do a whole video kind of explaining what is a brain wallet later on, but I want to get to this issue. One of the issues that is currently present is a, a brain wallet contains a one-time use transfer. And a lot of people get confused about what is a one-time use transfer. So essentially, say I, I'm Bob, which I'm not, I'm Jason, and I want to send money to Joe. So Bob and Joe. Now Bob is going to send 0.5 bitcoins to Joe. But Bob has two bitcoins. Well, what will happen is if he sends you know, 0.5 bitcoins to Joe, well then Bob will then, because of the one-time transaction limit, will send 1.5 bitcoins as a transaction fee. Guys, this is scary. It, it, now, in the new update, I will give a defense. In the new update of Brain Wallet software, you will be it will warn you and say, hey, you know, you're sending X amount of trans, you know, as a transfer fee. But it's scary because you know people don't understand really. They, they get into things, and which is great, but they don't really research. And I always encourage research. I always encourage developmental theory and thought process because it lets you realize is something worthwhile or not. I think brain walls are kind of interesting, but I think there's some you know um, basic warning levels that need to be used before getting into a brain wallet. And this is one of the issues I've gotten probably four emails about people who've had the same issue. Now, people that have emailed me have had you know lesser amounts. I think it's like 0.5 Bitcoins and below that they've had as transfer fees. But I actually have an account with someone I want to read off. He sent 0.05 Bitcoins to a guy. Now, he had 20 Bitcoins in his brain wallet account. Now, I'm guessing you guys already know what happened. So he sent about 20 Bitcoins as a transaction fee. Now, not it's actually different in, in scope than my um, Litecoin story I just did. My Litecoin story, the guy was able to get a hold of the, you know, the pool that mined the block and was able to get him back his transaction fee. In this case, the guy wasn't so lucky. The transaction was mined by a P2P pool, which if you don't know, is basically a decentralized pool network, kind of like how Bitcoin operates. So actually, his transaction got spread out to 399 addresses, which as you, most, uh, as you most likely know, you're not going to get that money back. So this guy trying to send a simple transaction of you know 0 0.05 Bitcoins, which really isn't that much. I think it's like, what is that, like $50 or so? I mean, it's not very much money. He accidentally sends $20,000 as a transaction fee. It's a huge worry. And I've had people email me, you know, man, I want to use these new things, but I, I'm afraid to get into things. And people are so concerned about putting these clients on their computer. And I've said this before in other videos, I stress right now the most secure thing to do is have a client on your computer. Um, have that computer in a secure location, have that wall.dat file backed up. Because, you know, we talked about online wallets and how they're kind of unsecure. Well, they basically are unsecure to the point that someone could basically steal your funds or they could just close up shop and again, steal your funds. Brain wallets are kind of a unique type of system where they're secure, but one of the you know, problems is they're a one-time use account. So, you know, like these instances, if you're trying to send you know, a small fee or a small transaction and you forget that's a one-time use, you might accidentally send, you know, like this guy, 20 bitcoins to another, you know, to the pools for a transaction fee. And you might not get as lucky as the guy that I talked about in the story beforehand about the Litecoin story where he was able to get his money back from, from the transactions. This is scary, guys. Now, I've got emails. They've said that they updated the software. That it warned you twice now on some of them and sometimes just once. So I feel a little bit more secure that they're adding that you know, into the process. But guys, I just want to kind of do a public service announcement for this because I feel like this is a very big you know, issue. I have a lot of people that email me, ask me about these brain wallets, and I think they're great. I think they're interesting Like with anything. It's an experiment in progress. But remember, it's a one-time use. So if you're going to go and you're going to send realize, you know, be careful because I'd hate to see any of my viewers or anyone out there, in fact, send 20 Bitcoins equivalent right now to like, well, actually right now it's like 18,000, but still $18,000 you're going to give just to people that are mining Bitcoin. Don't do that. Save that money. You know, realize when you send funds, how those funds are operated and how the processes of sending those funds operates in conjunction with transaction fees. You don't want any problems like this guy or any of the people that have emailed me. You want to stay safe, secure, 
and convenient. So guys, again, just a kind of a public service announcement. announcement. <laughs> um, I just want to warn you guys though, this is it's so sad because I've gotten emails before and I feel terrible for the people because I, 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 they like, can you help me? And a lot of times it's just like, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do to help you out. And it's such a sad scenario. So anyway guys, have a great day and be careful with brain wallets.